Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, we are today going to be continuing into episode 3 of the Chelsea career mode on FM23. We're in the beta currently and we're going to get straight into it. And what we're going to start off with, I think, maybe not going to be the best decision long term, I don't know. But I'm going to recall Callum hudson Ado. I think we could use his abilities, look that crossing and stuff is insane. I think him as a natural winger going down that wing and feeding balls in to Aubameyang or Broya when he comes off the bench. I think will be key. So we are going to recall him. Sorry that he's only been there for a few weeks, um, Leverkusen, but his loan has finished. Uh, he made four appearances and I think got one assist, was it maybe? Yeah, one assist in that previous game. Um, we're going to have to go and register him as well and all that now. But I think looking at this schedule, how we got Brentford, Celtic, Wolves, might get through two or three of them today. And then Dinamo Zagreb, Liverpool, and Spurs at the end of the month, so that's a big fixture to look forward to. It's at home at the bridge, so we should be getting all three points there. And Young Player of the Month goes to Wesley for fun, so we'll go ahead and congratulate him. He's had a good few performances at the back for Chelsea. First game, of course, though, is Brentford, who are currently 10th. They're scoring some good goals, so let's move ahead to that. So I'm sure you will have seen over the summer... Um, the transfer deadline window has now passed, by the way, but in the summer, in real life, Chelsea were interested in a player called Endrick, and I remember going to look at some of his videos, and the guy is an elite, he's 16 years old, and he looks unreal. Dribbling ability, insane, shooting ability, really good, and at 16, with these sort of stats, I thought, maybe it'd be funny, I don't know how good he is in FM, maybe he doesn't really amount to much, but he's up Palmeiras under 20, so I thought we'd maybe go and inquire, and see what we can get done, we'll say we're keen, he doesn't want to join under any circumstances. Okay, so whatever we say, he's not going to want to leave just yet. Maybe he sees his development at Palmeiras uh, currently as a bit of a key point. He's got a three-year deal, so I think we'll throw something out there. Throw 11 mil. Okay, wow, I really didn't expect them to accept that. We'll throw a bid in. Okay, and he just straight up declines. Okay, well, this is one to remember, right? Because I'm going to put him as one that we are just declaring interest as a top target. I, we are going to try and push this transfer through because I think if we can get him next year, the year after, whatever, when he's willing to make a move, he looks like he could be a top player. So here are the fixtures for the week. We, of course, have the Manchester derby in today's episode, so that'll be an interesting one. City away to Man United. You think they'd go and beat them. Um, some other good fixtures. Newcastle Arsenal will be a pretty good one. Obviously, we play tomorrow, so we'll see what these results say today and see how they affect us, maybe, um, looking ahead to, to our fixture tomorrow. Um, hopefully, we get the win against Brentford. We have got a close turnaround, and Man City do beat Man United. Um, any crazy results in there? Arsenal did well, Spurs did well. Big game there between Villa and Wolves, a nine-goal thriller. Other than that, though, fairly standard, so we need to go out and get a win to keep ourselves in that top four slot today. Um, with the turnaround to that you know, Celtic Champions League game, we are going to prioritise the league, but we do need to consider that we um, we do have a game coming very shortly after, and Mount has come to us saying that he wants a new contract, and that is one I am absolutely fine. Okay, well, I was going to offer him one, but he doesn't want it yet, but to be honest, he does need a new contract, so I think he's got two or three years left, only two years left, so we don't really want to... Um, allow him to leave basically not that it sounds like he wants to um, okay we'll go to the agent first I haven't actually done any of these so we'll go through it what can I do if you were keen on re-signing Mason Mount we want to know what it'll take to get the deal done he's extremely keen to stay 160 to 205 um, I'll be cheeky and say you're asking for too much beautiful 140 to 185 that's what they're looking for now if we go and enter negotiations you must be an important player we can't promise him that he'll be in that specific role. Um, I don't want to make any promises in all honesty, just on the off chance. There we go. We can get him to accept that. 140 to 185. So if we can get him on 160, you know, Mason Mount is a top player. He deserves um, a good contract. And we'll bump the agent fee up a little bit just to entice him to accept. Once 170, we'll push on 160, bump that agent fee another 50k. Okay, we'll settle on 165. There we go. Mason Mount on a five-year deal should be re uh, signing again soon. And we're going to go straight in. Um, our coach is getting poached by Man City. Lovely. We'll see if we can keep John Terry involved. We don't want to let him go. Um, right, yeah. And then we'll get into that Brentford game. So looking at the fixture, we've got Bamiang available and Kante. 
kind of available, but not really. He, he's going to be pretty tired. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the opposition instructions, basically just show players onto their weaker side and such. And let's pick out the team for today. Kante not going to be available to play pretty much. So I think we're going to change it a little bit. We're going to bring Jorginho in, put him on this side. Um, and we're going to put him as a playmaker on defend. And then Kovacic is going to go uh, box to box. Uh, can I not shoot? Oh, we need to push them up a little bit. Sorry. Uh, Kovacic go in box to box midfielder. And I think that should be a good balance. And then Pulisic is traveling to go and play for the USA, which is very annoying. So Ziyech will come in on this side. And Kalm Hudson-Odoi, who is now back available for us, will be on the bench. Dennis Sicario can come onto the bench for Kandy. And I think that's a strong lineup. Mount is fit. He's not quite sharp yet, but we need to get him back into match uh, sharpness anyway. So we'll play him through this game. Uh, Cal Hudson Adoy will need uh, a number. What do we give him? 11 is not an awful choice. Yeah, I think we'll go and give him number 11 for Cal Hudson Adoy. And we'll head into the match. Let's tell the lads uh, that we have to win our home games. No excuses. Aggressive. Kovacic we'll try and change that there we go everyone else looking pretty fine so we'll go in to this game against Brentford I could see this one being a little bit of a potential slipping uh, for us so we need to make sure we don't lose it this is the lineup that they've gone with they switched it actually I just noticed as they got onto the pitch so we'll see how this game plays out some early shots off and Mount is ready to whip one in here we don't get on the end of it and we'll pick up the ball off the end of that corner it's been worked wide to Ziesh over here. He whips it in, Money Mace, and it's just over. Still waiting for our first shot on target, I believe, here, and that's a ball played out wide to Hickey, but poor oh, pass there. Chilwell picks it up. What can we do here, lads? Come on. Let's build something. Jorginho up to Mason. Back to J5, into Kovacic. The pack in the central midfield here, and Chilwell finds space out wide. Through to Sterling, down the line. Can he pick someone out? He whips it into Mount, who shoots good save from the keeper. Mount brought down, but nothing in it, apparently, according to the ref. And Chilwell gives the ball away. All right, we're going to pause it just before half-time, and I'm going to tell the lads in possession, let's work this ball into the box, because we're taking shots, but they're not looking deadly enough. So we go straight into half-time. I'm going to say shooting's not good enough, basically, is going to be the message there. Um, is there any changes we want to make? Kulubai not having the greatest game, and Aubameyang still not. We'll give him you know, the start of the second half, but I want to see a big improvement early on here. And we have the ball. Chilwell has it out wide. Not making much movement around him. Kulubai moving it forward. Now to Fafana. We need to get this ball forward a bit quicker. We're looking a bit lackluster. Not sure what's going on here, but Mount receives it, puts a ball into Aubameyang, who goes round his man, and it's a lovely shot. We work it into the box, and that's what we get. Aubameyang scoring again with Mount on the assist, who's just back from injury. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Beautifully done. We will take another look. Good play from Ziyech here to just draw the extra man in. Mount turns his man, Aubameyang darts past him, and that's a bottom corner finish. Very nicely done. That's what I want to see. Brentford on an attack here, though. We've got to be careful. Tony whips one in. They're on the edge of the box. I don't like it. We've pressed them out a little bit. Kovacic picks the ball up. No, it's bouncing around in there. Oh, Mendy. What on earth was that? I thought that was the easiest catch of his life, and he just let it bounce off the post. Good God, that was close. Um, okay, we're going to need to look at substitutions in a moment. We're in the 70th now. We'll go for it here. Um, quite a few tired players, and obviously we've got that Champions League game, so Bamiang's coming off. Um, do we bring Calm Hudson Adoy on so soon? I think we do, and I think we save Sterling out on this side, and Callum, I think if we can get him as a supportive winger, just to stay out wide and essentially get some crosses in, we'll see what we can tell him. Get further forward, actually no, I don't want to risk it. Um, cross towards the target forward, that's what we're looking for. And get to the byline give him some instruction maybe one of the midfield or the defense um ben Chilwell on this side for cooker that's what i'm gonna go for let's see what we can do here we've still got two subs in the bank should we need them and brentford looking to play it out from the back here they're doing decently but georgina wins the ball back coach it's around his man not quite the ball into mount that we wanted callum wins the ball back though very nice 
combining down this left hand side with Kukurea. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Looking very in control so far. Lovely switch ball to James. Awful pass, but he wins it back. Darts into the box. Oh, it took a deflection, and Broya gets on the end of it, and that's a lovely little poacher's finish. The keeper a bit complacent there, and Broya pounced when it mattered. That's beautifully done from him, and that allows us now, I think, to go and save a few more players for the next game. We've got two more subs to make. I think Trevor Chalba for Chilwell will be a nice one. And maybe Aspi for Reese. Refresh that back line. Make sure we've got some players available for the next game. I like that a lot. Reese doing very poorly with that pass there, but darts forward, wins it back. Ball in. Keeper makes a mistake off a deflected hit, to be fair. And Bruyne, I think, nutmegs the keeper, which is fine by me. Very impressive. Ziesh with the ball here. Whips it in. Almond's and Adoy. Back to Ziesh. Whips one out to Koulibaly on the far side. He chips it up into Broya. It's a poor shot. He probably could have had another goal there. Broya may be pushing for a starting spot if he can continue, but Aubameyang has been scoring plenty of goals for us, so I can't complain to his output. And I think that is actually going to be the end of the game here. We've got a couple of minutes to go. And there we have it. Full-time, a 2-0 win against Brentford. I think I'm going to make a change to our tactic. I will very much heap some praise on the, on the lads. I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. We'll skip that press conference. It puts us back in a fourth. Wolves having a storming start to the season in the first six games. Um, very impressed by them so far. And in the tactics, I'm going to go and sit ahead and say, in possession, let's work into the box. You know, we're, we're getting too many of these games where we we have a lot of shots. Call by uh, player of the week. Um, we have, we're having a lot of shots, but they're not threatening enough. So I want, I'd rather have less shots and more quality in them. So we'll see how that fares for us uh, against Celtic. And then we have a big game against Wolves because obviously they're third at the moment. Whether they, you know, we'll ha maybe have a look at their fixtures, see who they've had. You know, are Wolves seriously looking like a potential title contender so far? They've had, okay, you know, mid to bottom half teams minus maybe like Brighton and Newcastle, Palace about mid-table. But they've done well. They've kept quite a couple of clean sheets in there. They've just lost, obviously, 4-3 to Aston Villa, so that's their only real slip-up. So a very good start to the win, uh, to the season for them. And we're going to move straight into this game against Celtic. And here we are already into that Celtic game. Kante not really fit yet again, so we're going to have to bench him. Um, what do we go for here? I think maybe... So Juno's capable of playing again. I could risk playing Dennis Sakaria. I think he could. He can have a game. You know, it's the Champions League against a lower opposition team. We should be winning. Pulisic, after travelling, is not going to be available. So it's going to be Ziyech again. Callum on the bench instead of him. Um, I think I might try Conor Gallagher in the role, a roaming playmaker role here today. See what we can uh, make up with him there. And for the attack, I think we might keep it as is. You know, we've got the extra substitutions if we need it. Um, that's a strong enough team. I think maybe Mount could use a rest. We'll start Kai in, in the cam roll. And I think that should be good enough. Maybe one change in the defense. I'm going to start Kukurea. I think that's absolutely fine. Some small rotation. Uh, and we do have actually possible other substitutes we can bring in. We'll bring in Loftus-Cheek and Thiago Silva just to throw them on there. On the off chance we have, there's no point taking the other ones because they're not fit to play. So we'll go in with 11 substitutes. Um, Celtic, you know, a team we should definitely be beating. So we go to the dress room and say, um, with the favourites and I want us to play like it, you know, dominate this game. Basically, I like these new Champions League graphics, they're quite nice. And yeah, let's go into it. Oh, the bloody lineups are like that as well. This is very nicely done this year in FM. I, I, I like that. We'll kick off and see if we can get off to a good start in the Champions League. Ten minutes in, we have a highlight here from uh, Celtic, it seems. Let's hope it's not an early goal for them as they work into the box. But Gallagher clears. They pick it up on the edge, though. And it's a long shot that Mendy has let in. That is an abysmal start. We're going to have to berate the lads for that one. That is poor. What is Mendy doing here? It looked like it was fairly central. It didn't seem crazy. Gallagher maybe should have had a bit more composure there, not to just put it on the edge of the box. Mendy's then poor there. He's got cement on his feet, for God's sake. He didn't even move. Ah, 
that's a frustrating way to start. We've got another highlight here, playing it around the defence. What can we do to get back in this game? I'm, ugh, this hoofball isn't what I'm looking for. This is really starting to frustrate me. They're not listening to the tactical instruction. We need to win that. Nice one, Reese. Right, now we need to go. Breakthrough with Connor Gallagher. Puts it through for Kukurea. In for Havertz. Oof, that looked like a deadly ball, that one. Reese wins it back. Very nice. Come on, we need a bit of attacking threat here. Lovely ball down the line for Havertz. It's got to go inside. Sure. Oh. Reese whips it in for Bamiang. Lovely finish. Oh, Bamiang is on some crazy form right now. I am going to tell them again, though, keep that passing a little short. A little bit short. Maybe that's a change I make permanently to the tactic. Just tweaking it a little bit here and there because I'm seeing these frustrating moments where they just clear it or they go for a long ball and it doesn't quite work. I only want the players who are very capable of doing that to be the ones trying. Another highlight here with Mendy playing it out from the back. What can we get moving? The, the defence looks so static. They don't really run forward with it at all. Come on, Koulibaly, go. Oh, he's gone for it again. Aubameyang manages to get down. Oh, he's gone for this shot and it's a beautiful finish. Maybe I should be letting Koulibaly go for these long shot, uh, long passes. Wow. I mean, that was ultimately the defender that missed it, but either way... It ended up in a goal, and outside of the boot, long pass, and Carter Vickers misses it, and Aubameyang slots it in the near post to put us ahead just before half-time, actually. So we'll go in and see what we can do here. We'll say uh, we're controlling possession. We are doing fairly well in that regard. Ziyech probably deserving of a bit of a break, so Callum in on this side to... I'm going to, again, ask him to be a support winger. Take it to the line and cross. Conor Gallagher not having the best game. We'll try Ruben and see if um, he can do a job. And until we're a little bit further ahead, I'm going to leave it there. Just two changes at halftime to keep it fresh and maybe bring on some better players that are performing better for us at the moment. Kukure with a great ball down for Sterling. Oof, Joe Hart comes out to collect it. That was close. I thought Sterling might have been able to at least get a foot on it, draw a pen... Something along those lines. But this is looking good. Nope. As I say it, I jinxed it. Fafan on a yellow does worry me a little bit, so he might be one that I look to substitute if we have the lead looking comfortable. Another missed header here from Celtic, and they pass it through to Sterling. It's crossed into Kalmuts, and the Doi chips it up on a lovely goal! That is unreal. Welcome back to the club, Callum hudson Adoy. Oh my lord, he chips it up and has an audacious volley into the bottom corner. That was very impressive. Wow, chip up, volley. That is... That's one of my favourite goals I've scored yet. That was fantastic from Callum hudson Adoy, and good to see him having an impact so soon after rejoining the club. They're letting me know now, now that James is a little bit knackered, so we're going to make some defensive changes with two centre-backs on a yellow as well. I think that's probably wise. We're going to go for Chalaba in on the right side, and I think in a bit we might even bring on Thiago Silva and see if he uh, can shore up the defence a little bit. We'll go for it around now. Thiago Silva, come on. And then 10 minutes for... Oh, wait, no, that was our last window to make a sub. I was going to bring Broy on as well. I probably should have done that instead of rushing it. And Kalmas and Adoy whipping in a corner here. Nothing to it and they've got a chance to break here maybe. He's got no support with him and Chalba mops it up nicely. Alan with the ball here. He's cutting through. Goes back out to Aspi. Maybe can find Ch uh, Hudson Adoy. He doesn't go for it. Zakaria whips it in. Sterling never going to win that header. A good header from Chalaba again, although it does go to the opposition. And they're played in. I think this guy was onside. The one in the middle wasn't. Mendy with a comfortable save in the end. We've got a late highlight again in the 89th minute. Celtic looking to get something out of this game. It's whipped in. Kukure surely has that. He doesn't. And we've conceded. Ah, oh, late goal with a few minutes left to go. That is not what you want. Kukurid, far too casual at the back post. We'll have another watch of that. That should have been his all day. Either clear it or hoof it there. Don't let it go. We've got a few touchy minutes here. Five minutes added on. 
and we've got a throw in over this end. If we lose this lead, I'm going to be very annoyed in the dressing room after this game. Aspi throws it in, Thiago, Zakaria back into Sterling, why are we aiming for him? Aubameyang on the volley and it's a lovely goal. Aspi whips it in and Aubameyang saying, you're not getting this draw lads, you're not having the comeback. And there we have it, full time, Aubameyang with a hat trick, the performance from this guy at the moment is insane. We'll tell them, we'll big them up, say you've blown them away, I want to keep the morale very high, I don't want anyone to, you know, if we can keep morale high in, in FM especially, it's critical, because as soon as it starts to drop, the performances can go down real quick. So we'll keep everyone very happy, and I think we'll call it there for the episode. We have got this Wolves game in quick succession, so you know what, screw it. I'm going to give you guys three uh, games in today's episode as well. And there we have it, it's confirmed Mason Mount accepts the contract, a new five year deal that will keep him at the club on only 165 grand a week as well, that isn't even a crazy wage for someone as good as he is, so I'll take that all day, um, leave a like for the fact that we're going for a three game episode and Mason Mount is staying at Chelsea, don't we all just love to see it? So we're going to flow into this game against Wolves, we'll praise Kante having a good training session, that's what we like to see. Um, especially given that he's coming back from injury, so, you know, we want him performing well. Man City Liverpool is this week as well, I just saw, so if they can get a result against them, that'd be good for us, because realistically, I think City are going to go on to win this league, and it's up to the rest of us to fight for second, third, fourth, etc. Um, keeps telling me that Aubameyang's fine of playing, um, and Kante is now available as well. Tottenham getting the better of Arsenal in the North London derby, that is... Not good news for Arsenal. Um, and we're going to go into this fixture. Two-day break until we play in Zagreb again. It's a tight schedule. And I think we're going to have to make some changes. Um, I can't drop a Bamiang. He's too good. He's scoring too many goals. Kalmuts and Adoy looking strong. So I'm going to give him a start over Pulisic. Again, winger on support. That's what I'm going to try and mould him into. And realistically, I think the bench and all that is fine. Um, we'll start the game like this and we'll make some substitutions, so I think that's fine. Let's get into the game against Wolves, who are flying high at the moment, so I'm looking for a... I'm going to go out and stay with favourites, so play like it, dominate that game, and see if we can get the win, because this won't be easy against this Wolves team. We have an early free kick, though, whilst it is pouring down at the stadium. Reese James is going to... Go for a shot. It looks like off the crossbar or the post. Unlucky. That would have been a nice start to the game. Pedro Neto with a free kick. He's going to whip it in. Fafana heads out. It doesn't look like we're going to get on the end of it, unfortunately. It's whipped in, though. Pedro Neto in a bit of space. Sterling picks up the ball. Maybe Mount to pick up there. Lovely. That's some good pressing from him. Inside to cover. Goes for a long ball for Aubameyang. It's lovely. Finish it. He's gone round the keeper and finished it. This is beautiful. Aubameyang is on some crazy form. I wonder what his stats are like compared to Haaland at the moment. They've got to be fairly similar. There's a great ball from Kovacic out here. And in the end, a very nice finish from Aubameyang. He looks to go around the keeper and just pokes it home. Very nice. And then Mount with a corner not soon after. It's headed out. Callum to get on the end of it, hopefully. Let's see what he can do. It's played back to the defence, back to Callum. Can we find an opening? Sterling in space. It's got to go inside. Ah, it's cleared out, but we're going to look to go back. Chilwell, Kulibai. Someone find an opening. Kovacic with another crazy ball. And Aubameyang say, uh, shoots and it's saved by Saar, who is actually injured, so they might be forced into a goalkeeper substitution um, unless he can play it off. And that is headed back out to Mount. Edge of the box for Sterling. What can we do here? Whips in. It's worse over the bar. Just before half time, we have another highlight. What can we do here? Hopefully, get the ball off of Wolves. Sterling doing a good job of that. Kante. It's going out wide, not quite, but James will pick it up. Puts a lovely ball for. Oh, Callum Hudson a doy to a Bamiyang. Yes! He is on fire! He's already on, did I just see 11 goals? He is on form right now. 
Wow, that was so nicely done. I think I forgot my how to speak halfway through that cross from Callum. Who I don't think gets the assist because of that little touch from Nelson Semedo tripping Sterling in the process, so it may have been a pen anyway. And we're into half time. I'm going to tell him I'm pleased we've created the scoreboard, reflects it, and just go straight into the next half. And we'll look at making some substitutions. Obviously, we've got three windows to do it, so we'll see what we can do. Liverpool currently on the right hand side, you can just about see above my head 1 0 up against Man City with Salah missing a penalty. Um, but let's focus on our game. Jose Sar still playing whilst injured, so there's maybe an opportunity to tell the lads to start shooting from range if he is not capable, you know, if he's maybe a bit hurt. But we're playing through here. Ball nearly finds a Bamiang. Diego Costa puts a great ball through for Pedro Neto. They get goal side of him. Can they stop the shot? Mendy saved it. It's no bother. James with a free kick here. He whips it in. It's not a bad attempt, to be fair, with a goalkeeper that's not. 100% but it is saved and Wolves are looking to break Pedence with a good header Koulibaly recovers it though poor ball up but Sterling will pick it up and look to drive us forward Callum Hudson a doy into a Bamiang back to Callum that's beautiful oh and he's just chipped it up again like his previous goal but this time over the bar and into another highlight what on earth is going on Maybe this game is quite frantic if you're watching the full match, but we'll watch it play through. Wolves struggling here. The injured goalkeeper plays it to Aitnori. Are they going to be able to craft an opportunity? He's played it well outside into Diego Costa. Not quite, though. Callum collects it. And it looks like we'll be able to play our way forward. Koulibaly with another long ball. I don't know why he keeps trying these. It's putting us in trouble. And Diego Costa running through. Mendy saves. That that was written in the stars for him to try and score against us there. Uh, we're going to make some changes. Reese needs to come off. I think Fafana could use a rest as well. Broya's going to come on in the attack. And we'll make one more at the moment. Maybe Jorginho. But Kovacic and we'll, we'll do this where we push them further forward and set him to play as a deep blind playmaker uh, I'd like to get a rest for Mount but we're going to leave that on just four substitutions there don't want to risk it just that's exactly why that has been caught live on camera Gulevay then gets injured and I'm going to bring on uh, Azpilicueta it's not ideal but we are going to play Azpi at centre back that is exactly why we save an extra sub for a moment like that and here they are, Wolves looking to get a goal back. Mateus Nunez. Mendy was very far out there. That was a weird one from him, his positioning. But it does look like we're going to see it out. And another 2 0 win. Lovely stuff. A Bamiang with a brace. The guy is, I'm going to say, a very nice victory. The guy is on some crazy form. We're going to take a look at it uh, before we end off here. And some other results Liverpool winning against Man City. So that puts them top keeps the top three fairly close so we're still definitely in it and Wolves obviously dropped down now that we beat them let's take a look at the Premier League it's got Erling Haaland is doing better by one goal Aubameyang is on eight in the league Aubameyang, uh, Haaland on nine so we're close but not quite and oh, that's an unfortunate injury for Dujon Sterling we'll send him to a specialist just to try and fix it Oh, Koulibaly's injury was a really big one. That's really not good. Um, okay, do we try and... we? I don't really want to extend it and keep him in protective equipment. So we are going to go for a specialist. It's usually the best choice. So we'll go with that. Bamming, of course, on form again. So we'll go and praise him. We're not going to do the press conference. And we're going to end it on a little bit of a sour note with Kalidou Koulibaly now being injured. So that probably means that Chalaba and uh, Thiago Silva are going to get more uh, game time in the next few games. Looking ahead, we have Zagreb, Liverpool, and maybe Tottenham in the next episode. So make sure you tune in for that one. I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching very much, guys. I will see you on the next episode. Goodbye.